What up, peeps? It's your girl, Dash. Come back to Parental Takes. Well, it's a time you guys. It's a movie review time, and this is for King Richard, starring Will Smith. Now, this one, um, it's been out for a couple weeks. I will say this. Um, I would have had this up sooner, but let's just say the weekend of, of the holiday, laptop decided to die on me, so we had to wait for a new laptop to be shipped to me. So even though so only a couple weeks in, you know, there was no way I was still not going to review this, you know, better late than never, as they say. So with that said, uh, also, I wanted to know, I'm just going to get into it. Um, like I stated, it's been out for a while, you know, so, you know, I really just want to discuss um, just everything that I really enjoyed about this film. Of course, directed by Ronaldo Marcus Green. He did a film that I like called Monsters and Men. So definitely was looking forward to seeing him put a stamp on this, you know, kind of like a biopic of sorts of... Um, Richard Williams. Now, I just want to first off and say that I so did enjoy this film. I'm always here for the work Will Smith puts out. You know, granted, he can do action, he can do comedy, but when he does drama, he really brings it. He really digs deep. I mean, when you think about, of course, The Pursuit of Happiness, I, I hadn't cried so much in, in, in a long time watching a film, and that one had me literally all over the place. So this one definitely tugged. And being that this, you know, centers around the dad and then we get more of an insight into the girls, um, Venus and Serena uh, Williams, it was just really, really such a good movie. Definitely inspirational. Um, so let's just get into it now. The way it's just straight out the gate where we definitely get introduced uh, to Richard, pretty much showcasing, you know, his stamp on basically working with his two uh, girls, uh, Serena and Venus, in regards to teaching them, you know, in regards to tennis. I mean, the discipline, the consistency, the hard work, determination, just, you know, having them instilled in them and knowing that even if you've seen, say, for instance, in the past, from going back to the early 90s, um, interviews of him discussing since they, you know, were born, he pretty much foresee this, you know, happening. It was just a matter of when. Also, his other girls, he was definitely a staple of making sure he was raising his girls to do right, you know, definitely working on their education, you know, besides tennis players, he wanted those doctors and the lawyers. So he foresee his, all his children having a better um, upbringing and being have better things for their lives as opposed to what he had been through. And then being that they lived in, of course, Compton, it kind of made, you know, certain instances at times a little rough, you know, you're dealing with some of the gangs, you know, always, you know, having an issue. Like you see scenes within the film where they were probably being on a tennis court and, you know, some of these guys show up, you know, ruffling his feathers and all that. There was one scene that really, you know, tugged where, you know, they literally, you know, came for him, you know, beat him up and the girls are in, in what looks like to be kind of like a little, you know, mini van of sorts. And him just putting on his face, his brave face, whatever and all that, and let him know this is why we're doing what we need to do. So you don't have to deal with this and deal with anything I've ever, you know, had to deal with. I don't want you to have experience that. And I give him kudos to that because there's so many ways that one scene could have went. But there's one other scene that actually almost went there. But due to the fact that, as I like to say, karma does find its way to those who do wrong, <laughs> if you know what I mean, it's in the scene. And he almost put himself in a situation where he could have been, you know, removed from the family, you know, being quick and hasty with wanting to get back at these, these, you know, little young guys, you know, going out here trying to, you know, show out, you know, for whatever. I do like where you get to see the dynamic with the overall family. And of course, with his wife played by Anjanu Ellis, who plays uh, Brandy Williams. And just seeing how they're going through him teaching, her kind of holding the family down. She's working because you don't really see him, honestly. I think one time we did see him, but I think overall, you know, he kind of put his, you know, life kind of on hold to pretty much teach the girls full time and make sure they knew what they needed to know in order to, you know, reach the pinnacle to meet certain people like the character of Paul Cohen played by Tony Goldwyn. And of course, meeting, of course, eventually Rick Macy played by John Bernthal. I did enjoy seeing you know, his interaction with the girls, you know, teaching them. But you can see the little butt heads at times where the portrayal of, you know, Rich is still wanting to, you know, train whatever and all. But it's like, you want them to work with the pros, let the pros do their work, whatever. And then sometimes, you know, making decisions and not really, you know, discussing if he wants them to help go pro because that's pretty much what it is. It's almost like to go from protege to pro. And then with him making decisions, we do get to see at times the dynamics of, him and his wife, which I like how we, they don't flush us so much, but just enough that, you know, things not always are what they appear to be, where, you know, there's a lot of communication going on where he's making decisions and not involving Brandy at times and her basically having to 
kind of, you know, bring it to his, his attention and checking him and understanding, like, don't make this decision again without me, whatever, and all that. It's like, you know, it's two parents in this. Yes, we know he's trying to teach him and all that. He's probably better equipped to show him, but it's like all this decision that, you know, involve our daughters, even Venus and Serena, uh, need to be addressed by both parents. And I like that. Um, also, just kind of seeing the girls, you know, learning, you know, in different areas, you know, when they eventually meet um, Macy. Because really, when you look at this, um, this pretty much is you're dealing with, you know, I want to say, I wrote it down like race, class, you know, uh, family, sport, all this culminates into this film. And it was just really done really effortlessly. I will say this, sometimes certain scenes at times kind of dragged a little bit because this is over two hours and I think some parts could have been taken because it was kind of was like sort of recycling certain parts that are considered you know quite inspirational at times with the girls you know for seeing you know certain hurdles or learning this or their father making a decision that this one can't do this because at times within the film you see where all the attention definitely was on Venus you know Serena kind of took a backseat but then it was parts where she would you know flourish and shine whatever you know and the parents you know realizing they know the potential but you know the coach is only teaching one but not both of them and venus rests to the actual you know pinnacle to do what she needed to do to do those particular tournaments and then eventually the one scene that we see where she goes up against one of the greats whatever i want to give shout outs to the girls names i want to say them correctly uh sania sydney who plays venus williams and then also demi singleton who plays uh serena so i really enjoyed the girl Cindy who played Abina, she definitely, you know, took definitely a front at a lot of the scenes in regards to the girls when it came to portraying, you know, just doing what she needed to do, learning, you know, her father kind of sometimes, you know, being a little, you know, forceful with her being able to, to do a particular, you know, tournament or whatever. And then always sometimes, you know, butting heads with, you know, their actual coach played by a uh, Bernthal, uh, Macy, so I like those moments and then him having to realize it. And of course, at times, Brandy having to kind of remind him, you know, this is your daughter. Eventually she'll make these decisions. She's going to do this, whatever and all. You need to understand that. And them having those little one-on-one -on -one conversations and him, you know, airing it out and talking to her, seeing where she's at, her head's at, and then making the decision where she gets to make that and him, you know, being a supportive parent. I will say this, and I did say this during uh, one of the trailer reactions, how there's an interview that we saw back in the 90s where um, the reporter's inquiring about Venus's, uh, you know, her, you know, confidence. And she's like, yeah, you know, where does it come from? You know, why is this? And then the father had to shut it down. And I love that scene that they show this in this because I agreed. It's just like, if she's confident, let her have her confidence. She doesn't need to keep feeling questioned as to why she shouldn't have confidence. You all want, we all want our kids, you know, to have that confidence, you know, and build up. You never want them to feel like, you know, that they should not, you know, and then have to really justify why is that. And I just love that particular scene that they put that in the film. And I'm glad they did because I remember seeing that for myself and just look at the face of Venus when she was watching her father and the man's like, oh, you keep interrupting. But yeah, he had to in this instance because you didn't want to move forward. And he kind of had to help him get there. So, but yes, I did love the cinematography. I love the score throughout. And just like I said, a lesson need to be learned with Venus when she went up against one of the greats, you know, coming in, like she said, confident, like I'm going to win this and then seeing how things ended up and she didn't and learning from that. But then coming out and you see the scene where she has all these fans wanting to meet her, and not realizing, you know, you're leaving a good impression on them. They can foresee you know, what you're doing, you know, and a lot of these girls can look up to you. She's definitely inspirational. And of course, Serena was. And pretty much this is kind of is, is basically the movie is just showing you, you know, the beginning stages of exactly what's happening and how, you know, they started off and how it just kept progressing, progressing and all and got better, you know, and eventually Venus, you know, winning this and that and other and eventually Serena being able to showcase her talents, you know, winning, you know, certain titles, grand slams, you know, and just being a force to be reckoned with in this, in just in sports period and i'm just a fan of both of these uh, ladies they've just been doing phenomenal work you know on definitely you know on the court and definitely off the court and there's so many girls to this day you know men and women who just really um love what they do and admire them respect them and definitely i know i had heard some instances you know just to kind of finish off where some people were kind of wondering you know why is this you know called i thought this was about the girls yes it is about the girls but it was from a point of view where it showcases how they came to be 
where they are now with being instilled with certain values from their parents and definitely at the forefront, their father. They're both executive producers and they definitely had a say and it is titled what it's supposed to be titled and it's being portrayed the way it was supposed to. So I truly, on my personal opinion, I didn't have a problem with that and I like that and it was just done it, I just really enjoyed it. You know, I had a couple of scenes that, you know, got me a little teary-eyed. But yes, it was really done well. Will Smith knocked it out of the park. I did enjoy um, uh, Anjanu Ellis. John Berthold did his thing. The young ladies did an amazing job playing uh, Venus and Serena. I mean, you, if you have not seen it, definitely check it out. I think everyone will truly enjoy this. It's definitely heartfelt. And my rating out of a 10, I give this about an 8.5. I really did enjoy it. So I think the only nitpick, honestly, was because some time could have been shaved off. It didn't really need to be because I feel like some parts, you know, were just kind of a little extra filler of sorts. And it really, but other than that, really no real issue really with the film. Um, so with that said, you guys, comment below. Let me know what you think. And with that said, I'll see you guys in the next movie review. You guys take care.